of uh, Alfalfa County and those stretch up into the uh, Kiowa area. That storm should be and is approaching Kiowa right now. But the hook echoes that we're seeing here are closer to Burlington. Uh, maybe five to seven miles due west of Burlington. Is that on Highway 64? Is that right? No, it'll be on 11. Okay, there we go. Uh, that storm says Kiowa, Hazleton. Oh my God! The velocities are extreme. Uh, this, uh, this could produce extreme winds, obviously, a very powerful circulation, strongest one we've seen in a while. Oh, look at that. We've seen it in there for the present time. All these people here are all over three seconds, you're going to see it. Two different situations. If you live in Cherokee, west of Cherokee, north of Cherokee, Hello. you take your meeting, go down to Cassius. We're in Cherokee right now. So we've got. Oh yeah. He's very close to Ingersoll now. So he awaits. So it's you know it's basically in the Ingersoll. North of Cherokee. Where are you at right now? Huge circulation. Uh, we got. You're in Alva. Okay. Are you seeing it? Okay. All right. When they come up, we'll get them. So we're looking at uh, that whole area. The tornado on the left and the tornado on the right. The whole area is rotating. Okay. And, uh, Okay. I don't have Bobby. How far away are they from you? Uh, right now, I think, uh, yeah, we got we got two on the ground right now. Actually, this Cherokee just maybe a little bit to the northwest. Okay. I saw two tornadoes though on the ground, Gary. Okay. I'm trying to get north of Cherokee so I can get a little okay. bit closer. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. One point five has left at a stop. We're just north of Cherokee. We're going north of Cherokee. We're like right here. This is the Lambert of the. We're driving straight north right now. Okay, so it's still going that way. I just haven't seen it move. I was thinking that south. We're moving. Okay, we're driving north. Okay, I just had to get my bearings back. Yeah, I know we were heading north, but I was trying to figure out, and that's east, so it's moving. I mean, we're... That is cool right there. It's basically on top of Yeah. That's the crystal 819 Byron, 826 Amaretta, 829. Getting another big wall cloud straight ahead. Yeah, we could go to Marty's audio. We're supposed to be right here. Yeah. We're going to be thinking about uh, actually driving deep on Highway 64, eight miles. We had a tornado on the ground. But don't forget right now, May May is our right in that rain. Uh, we're trying to establish a connection, but uh, we did have a tornado on the ground. It would have been Marty. south of that intersection. Oh Marty. my God! There's a huge circulation to your east. Be careful. Look at this one right here. There's several tornadoes on the ground right now. To your east, you just can't see them from your vantage Yeah, so this one might be big when they the it all consolidated right here. You know. He's right up here ahead of us, that guy. Because that was a cop and there's somebody else. We have the sirens on the radio. Yeah. We've got to be careful. With a little luck, it's going to go a little north of Cherokee. There's a pre cloud on the ground. Look. Okay, we should probably pull over and film this. Yeah, Gary, I'm going to say, I'm going to get it. Is this scary? Vortex is going to be running in that area. It's getting ready to cross the Cherokee River and go into the Kiowa area. Yeah, it's going to be running. You recording with this one? You want to stop? Stop on the other side of this so truck. So it's crossing north of Cherokee. Highway 64 is uh, it's the east-west road. Highway 64. Uh, crossing. Where do you want to do? Where do you want to stop? Highway just down here. So Driftwood, Byron, Ingersoll, maybe it's bypass the Ingersoll, but uh, there you see the debris cloud on the ground. By the way, those of you new to this part of the world or any place where they have tornadoes, which is most of the United States, uh, sometimes you may not see the funnel all the way to the ground, uh, but you'll see dirt and debris on the ground. That'll mean the tornado is on the ground. We still see a lot of dirt and a lot of debris right there uh, with that particular storm. I'll stay. You can see the wall cloud right above it on Bobby's shot. You can get out there quick. Can I have a moment of yourself? Yes. Okay, Bobby, it's passing. No, we don't have internet. I believe it's Highway 8 that goes north and south. But it is crossing the road right now. That would be in the vicinity a little south of Driftwood, moving out toward Byron and Amaretta. 
So it's uh, going to go, look, it looks like it'll go north of the Great Salt Plain State Park. That's the way it looks at this moment. But uh, we continue to indicate a TVS tornado vortex signature. You can see the whole area is rotating there. And Bobby, on your shot, we can see a tornado on the right. And I wouldn't be surprised if another one comes down on the left again. Huge rotation. And uh, you have a lot of people uh, driving to the north, Bobby? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people out here not seeing Gary. Yeah. I think everybody in Cherokee is headed north. Uh, but there's also a lot of uh, uh, storm chasers that do it for hobby and professional uh, storm chasers. So there's a lot of people out here. This has been a very popular storm, so it's going to have a lot of people uh, following up behind it. Now, I now have a condensation funnel all the way to the ground. Let's go. And it's going to be very close to the, probably the intersection of Highway 64 and Highway 8. It's going to be about right up here, uh, just east of the Anger So. Now they're, 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 they're rotation, to, uh, it's a small tornado right now, but the rotation is extremely It's It's about right up on it, by east of Anger So. They said it's by the inter intersection. Oh, we got to get north of Cherokee yeah. by like yeah. what, yeah. mile or two? Yeah. Locked and loaded. Turn your lights on, bro. Turn your lights on, bro. That's the video we need.